What is up guys, Hyphy99 here and I'm bringing you guys a really good Pred and a Banshee build. Kind of like 3 piece Pred and 4 piece Banshee which is really insane and it does crazy damage. Especially that 4 piece bonus instead of 4 piece uh, Pred like I released the other day guys. But um, this way you can just take on a lot of people by yourself and it has a lot of survivability especially with the uh, overdose and a lot of the stuff I'm going to show you. Crazy damage, 7800 firearms, 3000 salmon, 4000 electronics. Got the lightweight with 22.6k um, competent, responsive, and adept. And you're missing a 10% to damage out of cover with Banshee, so you still have to add that on after 22,000 damage, which is really crazy. And uh, if you can't get adept, next thing I would probably go for is uh, Deadly or maybe even uh, Fierce, just because you are running solo. And obviously, MP5 is a secondary to finish people off for responsive, competent, and deadly. And you don't need adept just because you already come with 20% uh, on there, so it is good for that. Obviously, it tends to slow manhunts down and to slow other people down. And harmful is good as well because it does do a lot of damage and it does slow people down. So when you're running, you do run slower. So just really good as well, especially with intense because you can't run when you're on fire. So that's why I like running that. But anyway, guys, four piece Banshee, obviously, because we have the ninja bag here and uh, it adds another uh, set bonus. But anyway, skill haste, health, and ammo capacity. And the reason you're going to run skill haste is because you don't have a lot of uh, toughness and you want to get that heal back pretty quick. So um, we're running pretty much 40% with this build and you're going to max it out on everything you can have. Uh, three pieces damage out of cover two bonus is kind of useless but the four pieces while rogue all ammo is completely refilled through 30 seconds damage taken from non-rogue players is reduced by 10 percent and you're not really going to be going to uh, rogue a lot with this build you're just going to be hunting down rogues mostly so that's why i run this four piece banshee because uh the next bonus is while not rogue damage of rogue players is increased by 10 percent so when you add competent uh the three piece bonus and this that's 30 percent damage which is really insane Plus um, the other bonus where you die, you get an extra 10, another 10% 10 when you die from them. So it's just really good for that, guys. 40% uh, extra damage is crazy. Uh, skill power on the matches to get that extra heal just because you're going to be running low skill power. And we don't have the best electronics in the world. So just good for that extra heal. Um, knee pads, obviously health, burn, and shock. Try to get disrupt if you can. Just in case for those, uh, you know, EMP stickies, which actually get you a lot. And it kind of screws you over because you can't use your heal unless you use a med kit. But um, obviously shock resistance just because everybody now is running a lot of shock turrets. That's what I've been noticing, especially with Firecrest now and those burn turrets as well. Anyway, guys, Ninja Bag, health, 
burn resistance isn't bad but if you can get ammo capacity just because you are running solo and if you don't go rogue you're not going to keep getting restocked by banshee so it kind of sucks but nonetheless burn is still decent and if you can get disrupt instead of burn that would be good as well but uh ideal thing is uh ammo capacity if you guys can get it but obviously ar damage crit chance and skill haste and i'd rather have crit chance and crit damage here just because you are running solo so you don't have the best crit chance and obviously crit hits are more than just regular damage so that's why i run that guys but um obviously try to get the best rolls all around um skill haste just to get an extra heal back faster um three piece obviously really good because you get that extra eight percent damage no matter what gun you're using and the reload speed actually helps out a lot too as well but um it's just really crazy how much damage this build really does guys but anyway obviously on the holster you want to get best rolls all around skill haste and try to get the best armor just because i don't have the best toughness and this build isn't really min max guys you could probably get an extra 5k toughness and probably a little bit more skill power and just a little bit more firearms but nonetheless it is a really good build now i'm going to show you guys my skill haste and it is at 40 percent and um that's max you can get without uh tactician so it is pretty good and uh i'll show you guys the time it takes to get it back and all that kind of stuff so for the pulse guys it's 11.80 percent so basically 12 percent the cooldown is 29 seconds so it is pretty good you get it back decently fast and um you know that extra 10 percent does help you out a lot and especially when you're stacking adept which you guys can do uh when you use your heal and your uh overdose is just really crazy and the cooldown is 31 seconds which isn't too bad and it isn't the best but the heal is just crazy 130,000. as you can see with booster shot uh, it's only 80,000. and when you're running solo with like no toughness it is better to run this uh, booster shot especially because you get an overheal as well but critical save you guys seen in the clip there i did use a med kit and i could face tank pretty good with it so it does give you that extra uh, damage resistance which makes you extra tanky and strike back's really good when you're low health obviously you get that 20 percent reduction and uh just helps you know spring back to life and just kill everybody you want to kill precision really good if they're running concealed you can just pulse them by getting them on the head and obviously hedge dots do a lot of damage so it's good to aim for them as well but uh, it's just good for that guys if they're running concealed but last but not least guys chain reaction is just really good when you grenade somebody and there's you know taking a group of three or four or even two and uh just you know gets extra damage on them but anyway guys that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you guys are new and i'm up boys